What's up, guys? We're back with the collections. Now, look at this. Look, 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 look. Look, Gaslight Batman straight up sucks, bro. Look at look at this. Look, look, look. His design is whack. Like, we're gonna tap on this character's uh, 3D viewer garbage. Garbage, I'm telling you. Watch. He looks like... He looks so bad, bro. Look at this. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna hop into online and discuss why Gaslight Batman is straight doodle -doo can, okay? So, uh, let's go into online, you know. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, let's hop into battle select and let's go to the last battle over here for maximum uh, challenge, I guess you could say. So let's just do a little bit of swipes and I guess we're here, guys. I guess I, I guess we made it. Okay, now we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to edit team. We're gonna, you know, um, sort by damage, of course, of course. We're gonna get the... Uh, uh, where's Gaslight? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. We got Gaslight Babbitt in the milks. All right, so we do have Gaslight Babbitt in the checks mix. All right, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna goddamn, uh, I don't know, boys. Um, I want to go with Gas, I, I want to go with Earth to the Flash, you know, because he's, 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 he's on that raw tip, I guess you could say. And, um, uh, let's just put on Aries because he's just so OP, I guess. Let me just eat a bag of chill real quick. I, I, I got some barbecue chips right here. Hold on. All right, boys. So check this out. Now, I don't actually think Gaslight is bad. By any means, he's not. But I don't really choose him. Like, because there's a lot of Batmans. There's like 20,000 Batmans. I don't know why. But for some reason, there's a favoritism with Batman here. But he is one of the Batman cards I don't really bother using. Um, The biggest reason. Look at the biggest reason here is um probably special one his special one um really is just a it's it's dot it's pretty much all dot now i don't mind dot because his dot is pretty okay it's pretty good but the thing is you know um the the one thing that stayed consistent with all batman characters in injustice has been the stun chance on special one almost every single batman card has that and i i, I think every batman card has that i i i i can't i can't really think of a batman that doesn't except for gas batman I think Gas Batman is the only one that actually has that. No! no. And yeah, I, I do honestly think that Gas Batman is the only Batman card that can't stun at all with a special one. Because if you try to, uh, well, I, I can't show it to you here, but if you try to do special one, he doesn't do stun. There is no stun chance. They basically eliminated that to uh, basically debuff him so that he can only do dot and not stun chance as well. I do think he is one of the more uh, lackluster Batman cards, but by no means he's you know bad because there's so many batman cards you know so you, you really can't go wrong with him but i'd rather not use him i guess he's just not my favorite batman because there's a lot of other batmans that i'd rather use no okay i literally blocked i literally blocked you sp Ew! Holy shia, it's the homie meta human the flash. Chill! Bro. Ooh, that perfect timing. I know I saw the accuracy. And it's oh so I want to tell you guys about my recent absence. My bad! My bad! Um obviously um work, but that's really it. Like there, there is really no excuse. I don't want to delve into too much detail because it's basically the same stuff like I said last time. Uh I really do try to post videos. Like I I really do try, but it gets really tough with all the stuff. I have to deal with personally so that's about it because you know we're only human I don't host a TV show here guys also can we take a oh my dude really <sighs> every time I make a video I run out of energy every time dude literally I hate when this happens Oh my god, if there was somebody out there who sold accounts that had maxed out energies, slash characters, slash gear, slash online functionalities, slash for a really cheap price. Oh, this is this is so sad. Oh wait, I sell it just I just hacked accounts on my Instagram for a very cheap price. So if you guys are interested in buying hacked for just iOS, then contact me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is in the description down below can we take a second to discuss like the cw shows for a second i'm, I'm specifically talking about the dc shows so there's a lot that's been happening like with like uh with crisis pretty much crisis on infinite earth is what's happening but but there is a major major problem with these cw shows the flash arrow batwoman 
Supergirl, hell, even Black Lightning. I mean, like, literally any CW show, I'm specifically talking about Arrow, Flash, Batwoman. They don't. Like, honest to God, those shows do not need to be 23 episodes long. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do feel like, like, especially with, like, Netflix. Netflix's Marvel shows, well, specifically, Dare, like, Daredevil. Guess I get to address, like, Marvel's Daredevil, right? Daredevil was literally the only good Marvel TV show on Netflix. I watched all the other Marvel shows, and I regret watching them. They were so boring. I think Marvel The Defenders was pretty good, but I only watched it because of Daredevil, because I love Daredevil. I feel the formula that Daredevil followed with, like, it's not, with, I think it was, like, nine episodes, with this nine episodes run every season, I think that's more than enough for The Flash. We get these filler after filler episodes for every single episode of Arrow. I think Arrow now, I think Arrow has transcended into, like, God territory. Arrow is, has been literally so good every episode. Every episode has a meaning to the actual, like, season, you know? All I'm saying is that the Arrow in season eight has been the best season so far. I can say that confidently. There hasn't been a better season than season eight. So far, every episode, there is major, major character development within Oliver. Major. Like, you see parts of Oliver you never even see. Oliver cries every single episode in his new season. Like, how can that not be... A, a more clear point about how much they, f you know, fill this new episode with just development. Like, the newest episode was when, um, Oliver's future, um, you know, offsprings were, were like, just, just kind of teleported to his, you know, to, to the Arrow Cave back in 2019. That was amazing, guys. That was an amazing episode, and I can't wait to watch the new episode that just came out today. So, obviously, they did do something. Like, I, I don't want Flash... To have another season with another 23 episodes with another, you know, like just like 20 episodes filler and then three episodes actual development. Here's the formula they follow. The first three episodes of these Arrowverse shows have a lot of like, you know, plot, you know, plot development, character development, like a lot of that good stuff. But then when you just go down like this, like the shithole, it just gets more and more shit, bro. It gets so bad the more you go deeper in the season. Literally... I, I look forward to the crossovers because they literally stray away from that. Uh, well, well, Crisis on Earth X was different because there was a lot of like Felicity and Oliver garbage in there, which I despised. But other than that, I think the crossovers do a good job in literally making a movie. Like just making a full-on movie. I think they do a good job in that because there's like so much um, going on in all these separate shows and they all bring it together in a nice way. I think... Crisis on Earth X, specifically Crisis on Earth X, was the best crossover. It had everything you needed. So, you know, in conclusion, just make the season shorter, bro. That's all I want. And I'm a big, heavy DC fan. Like, my, my whole channel is based around DC. Like, how how sweaty can I be? Like, how, how much of a geek can I be after this? Like, and I'm saying it's a problem. Like, 20 episodes is a problem. I think Marvel's Daredevil did a good job on that, boys. But, you know, who cares? That, that's just my two cents, boys. I'm sorry for just rambling off like 20,000 minutes straight. I literally just did like five different fights. I didn't even realize I was fighting. <laughs> I was just rambling on. Bro! My health! Bro! What are you doing? Oh my, we're dead. <sighs> oh, you're bad. You're bad, boys! Ooh, you're trash. You're so booty. Oh! Alright. No. Oh, she up. We're dead. Bro, he shot me up, bro. Chill, bro. You can't be doing that, bro. Bro, chill, bro. You can't be doing that, bro. Chill, bro. Oh, my lord. Ha Boo. I don't think so, buddy boy. Ooh. All right, what is this? We have Black Snipe, Marsh Manager, and Jessica Cruz, and then uh, Ares, okay? Ooh, I don't think so, buddy. I really don't think so. All right, there you go. There you go, boys. I know for a fact all those Riverdale f fans will like get on me. By the way, have you guys seen Riverdale? You you're please don't. Not play. I've never actually, I've never actually seen uh, Riverdale. I'm just clowning on it because a lot of I, I see a lot of these YouTube videos that literally all they do, all these YouTube videos do, is they just make a cringe compilation of 
Riverdale. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. It's like, it, it'll be like uh, Cole Sprouse uh, being cringe on Riverdale for like three minutes straight. That's the title of the video. And it's hilarious because I keep saying it on my recommendations, but I never watch. All right, boys, uh, regardless, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sort of, kind of a short video, depending on how much I cut the footage because I was rambling on a lot. My bad. But we are back, boys. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, I'll tell you guys later. Uh, peace, peace, guys.